In this dark and gloomy world where people are looking for love, peace and understanding to the many questions, God has chosen the church as salt and light to bring hope and transformation. For this reason, Pentecost R, a sponsored broadcast by the Church of Pentecost, brings you God's undiluted word with simplicity, clarity and understanding. Our theme for this year I will build my church, seeks to build a church called out to become God's own possession and sent out to witness, serve and possess the nations. In the coming years, the Church of Pentecost will strive to become a church whose members go to possess or take their nations by influencing every worldview, thought and behavior with kingdom principles, values and lifestyles thereby turning many people to Christ. Welcome to Pentecost R, equipping the church to possess the nations. Pentecost R, God's timely word for our dying world. Emmanuel Dana, Media Ministry Pastor. Major Tata, the Oba Pentecost, our Juma Dieso. Senior Dao Tien, no, na, a yam for so my end. Near whatever she a year, a sorry titinini, Mitchell Apostle Eric Quabnanya Meche, on a Apostle Snebby, and Executive Council members, a qua pro copier in Sawan prisons. Na one one more coye or some case here, pa Pentecost, our mono. A sorry to tell you, Apostle Eric Kabna Nyameche, Nyamesema, one of my chairs, no, Egina, se Onipa, daseni akuma, the heart of a human being. Na enwe chino so, as I say, yantama prisons ne ayi, ah, wadi be si prisons kampa, ebe fa nipa de duemu for baya maku maku baya ahami ansa, enti bra ore sheye ino. Yeah, they said you may deem me a new ever bro. So, yeah, me, you no papu. Orisha, require ya. Onsha, onsha, chada ao. Oprah, oh, Ampara, On such a day, on such a day, on such a day, on such a day, on a day, on such a Sing unto the Lord, oh dear, sing a holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord is Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, the mighty Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, the prince of peace. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful is the Lord. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prince of peace. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful is the Lord. Oh, sing unto the Lord, and you shall sing unto the Lord. 
This afternoon, I want to talk briefly on the heart of a man. Talking about the heart of the human being. The human being is a complex being. Because he's is created after the image of the undefined God. Now because we are products of God, we are also complex. The human being is about three persons in 
He is not God who is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but the human being is also a tripartite being, a, a triune being. The human being is a complex person. He is a spirit who has a soul. Within the soul is the mind, the will, and the emotions. And he lives in a body. So when you when we say someone is dead, you go and find the person lying in state. You see the body, but the spirit, what makes him a living being, is gone. But when a man is not there, he is a spirit. He carries his soul. And they live in a body. So when you see a human being coming with nose, it is not the real human being. It is the body. What is on the inside, the spirit and the soul, they affect his life. The body just expresses what the soul and the spirit determines. So, the Bible normally talks about the soul and the spirit as the inner man. And sometimes when he puts the spirit and the soul together, he calls it the heart. So when you see you see me dressed like this. This dress is for the body. But it's not for the real human being myself. The inner man. My, my, my heart. My heart. Now the Bible says in Matthew 12, verse 35. Matthew 12, 35. But before then, let me read a more popular verse. Matthew 5, 8. I want you to repeat that after me. Matthew 5, 8. So let them repeat the English. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they will see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they will see God. And your young kind of young I can kind to you, Casamo. Candimachia. And she only wanna walk on a mutia. Woman, I umbe who never had. In Shirani wana wankuma mutie. Womu nebe hune urade. No wama ame na yeke siye. Now there was a day that Jesus said, These people worship me with their mouth, but their heart is far away. A brebi yesu kristo kan sembi. No wase, ye no mudi wana no ena tsumye. Nesu wakuma diye wawwe chiri chiri. So he is saying that the human being can separate his heart from his actions. So the are worshiping with their mouth. The body is doing something. But Jesus said their heart is far away. So if you want to see a good person, you wouldn't see it from the physical man. So this is what Jesus said in Matthew 12. Verse 35. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. 
Wasi oni papa bi ara no odane ye pedi woni o mapapa wode ahintan ni mu and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him na oni pa boni fo so dane boni ye edi wo ne boni a ahye ni mu ma so the good man brings good things from the good stored up in him and unti oni papa bi ara no odane o mapedi woni o mapa ahintan wo ni mu and an evil man brings out evil things from the evil stored up in him na oni pa boni fo de o dane boni ye di wo breko a wa kora no woni kuma mu so the good man is defined by the state of his heart no nti no oni pa pa bi ano sa o pese hunu ne bobre a e jina na kuma so but it is very difficult to know a man's heart na e de ne mani pa so be hunu nyonku ni pa kuma mu but there are certain things that you can see and actually trying to figure out maybe this is what is in his heart na enu ma bi o e beti mi adadi amo wa hunu sa ampa ade e sey na wona kuma mu jesus said for out of the heart come evil thoughts na erade christo ka se free akuma mu no e na adwene bone e ba meda eya awudie adultery eya abosomsom sexual immorality ene se wugu hu fi won pam tef nyoma eya asotwe false testimony adanse krumu slander ne nyoma e sisi atwetwe so that somebody from the case and jesus said it is from the heart nti yesu person a chere so bi bo jaman a e firi akomanum it's not about the body anya ni padua no but it is from the heart e firi akomanum somebody steals and jesus said it is from the heart o bi bo kro no na yesu aka se e firi akomanum because every human being will exhibit what is stored up in the heart sanse ni pa da sani bi abe den ni ma e wona komanum adi You see you wouldn't think that we will store up evil in our hearts. But see, somehow as we travel on the road of life we are storing. We pick some from our parents. We pick some from friends. We pick some from schools. We pick some from what we hear and we read in and some are yatene aken kan aye kan no what we view on the television now these things as we put them in our hearts samioma we bre di wura koma no if you are putting bad things in your heart say you are born in our di wura koma no you are storing up bad things in your heart and you now the you are born in ese koma no and the heart is the workshop whatever gets in there will be produced na akoma no mo no so na ye ehodwuma die kase ye nyoma ade ya na be koso wo ho no eno na be tena die ababonten sometimes you 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 don't know who you you, you worry is ah why am i doing this because i don't want to do this the problem is the condition of your heart tomre bi ana udi abo bo e ba ne say na me koye ade yi me mpesa me fo me mpesa me ye bo ne but tomre bi a hu no say e ye akoma no nyina so but the heart becomes more dangerous and gratefully evil when it opens the door for what i love to talk about bitterness to enter a tomre bia akoma ne timi kura bone amumuyo nioma enye na ne ana me kan nyina ne se sunsu anso na nioma de ye nimu nyina ba ne se bre oni pade nyono nyono e sie na koma mu So ya wo die bi wo ni pemu a if you have some bitterness in you a man akuma say in them it just spoils the heart yeah na on tishe that you could understand anything some of them bitterness calls them to sell themselves up, up to evil to be rebe no mo so a ya wo die no me be no to mo ho ma bo nsam but no one was born with bitterness na obi ani won so a ya wo no to ya wo die mo we acquire bitterness na e die ya ji e ye it comes to us because of what has happened to us we are better because of what someone has said about us we are better because of what somebody did to us and then when we draw this into our hearts it's pause the heart it makes it sick and it destroys the entire human 
Hebrews 12 verse 15 says this. Hebrews 12 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. It will cause trouble to you. And it will cause trouble to many people. Now, when you contract this bitter spirit, which is a malady of the human heart, which is a sickness that attacks the human heart, I will give you some symptoms. So, you have to sit back and then listen and check whether you have a good heart or a bad heart, whether you are sick of bitterness or otherwise. What is one is bitter, such people are full of anger. They always think of revenge. I wouldn't be surprised that there will be some inmates here who are listening to me who are always praying that the day they go out, they will go and revenge. They have unforgiving spirit. Bitterness causes pain. It is sickness. You see, sometimes when you think of the person who did something against you, in the middle of the night, you wake up and you can't sleep. Sometimes people think of this thing and they begin to stamp their feet on the ground. They wish that they could do something to this person. And they tell themselves, if I kill him, if I destroy him, and I'm dead, that's all. Bitterness. Bitterness causes sleeplessness. People who are bitter, they normally greet with their head like this. When you say good morning, then you do this. It happens between a husband and a wife. It happens between anybody can be. Bitter. Some people will quell into their shelves. But they won't speak. Now, bitter people have suicidal tendencies. They, sometimes they want to take their life. Others, they shy away from people. Now, they, 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 they separate themselves from people. Others also become talkative. They are always trying to explain their side of the story. Now, bitter people also keep records of evil. They keep records of evil. This thing happened to me. He did this to me. He did this to me. He did this to me. And they keep them in mind. Sometimes they even write it. They, are, they have a callous heart. They don't care what happens. Now, bitterness breeds rebellion. Most of 
because of the wars that is going on in nations and these young people in the jungles who are very rebellious, a lot of them, they have been in that condition or they are in that state because they are bitter. Now, when your heart is in this condition, it will destroy you. Now, even physically, it will give you some ailments. It can give you some ulcers. It can cause your pressure. Sometimes it can even make you crazy. Bitter people are always looking for an opportune time to strike. They look for opportunity to strike back. You see, in scripture, the Bible spoke, uh, talks about Herod Antipas who took the wife of his brother Philip. Herodia, the wife, the, the, because John the Baptist spoke against the union, Herodia pressed upon Herod to arrest John the Baptist. And in prison, this woman wanted the husband, the new husband, Herod, to kill John the Baptist. But Herod was afraid to do that because John was very popular and the people revered him. But one day, Herod threw a party to his officials. And Salome, the daughter of Herodia, the wife of Herod, who wants to kill, who wish that John the Baptist were dead, she danced before the crowd. And the dance pleased Herod. And then, he asked Herodia to ask whatever she wanted. Then Herod told this Salome to ask whatever she wanted. Even if it is half of his kingdom, he, Herod, will give her. Now, I Herod catch her in the Baba and say, Maybe. And to Herod's surprise. Of course, this Salome never thought that that was going to be uh, a request uh, from the father. So Salome went to the mother Herodian. What should I ask for? And the Bible said that that was to Herodia an opportune time. And then the mother told the daughter, ask for the head of John the Baptist. And remember, that it was they were eating. It was a party. What does she need the head of John the Baptist for? Is she going to eat it? Now, what want Now, Herod 
or the battle for force watching one quiet one tears here because they serve with a platter or a trail. He says, Acts of the head, let them put it on a tray, a platter, and let them bring it to you. What say, Okwa, Momu, and Katinu, and see platter so, and see tensing him. Nay, Penny, send ye a system, a whole war, send ye a sitting me and a summon, or Mondanis, a pepper. So, just as they are taking the food round, she wants to display. Let the whole world know that she has killed John the Baptist. Let them put it on a platter so that at least people will see the head of John the Baptist. And that one was a request Herod never thought Salome would make. And the Bible says that he didn't know what to do, but he couldn't eat back his word because of his status. So he requested that they, they brought the head of John the Baptist. When they brought the head to Salome, Salome also went to present to the mother. What is the what what is she going to do with the head? Now, a brother church trained the two plates so ma Salome and or done home. Boshi or the command, mommy. Let me be sassy, mommy. A tree, what the bear day? You see, well, this is the heart of bitterness. We need a command, a Whoever thought that this woman, I mean, if you are the, 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 the wife of a great king in a banquet like this, but this time she is gorgeously dressed, very, very beautiful, but that is only the body inside her where was a filth of bitterness. She was a medra queen mother. Nanka akwenye ati say eni shiemu ati say ya topono oh hene idi e anka watina shi sheni mu a we make up cry a one hour asha sha one tadi e na kwa beti na jum na nsu we ni a shadi e chire ni na e chino ni muti e uhu na ni ma fe 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 na nsu ni muti e boni fini ya uti a asha ni mono e ya poto. You can never tell a good person from the the, the food he eats. You can never tell a good person from the dresses he or he wears. Not his stature. But a good man is the state of the heart. Now, what is the state of your heart? It is a heart that Jesus is after. I want you to let go any bitter spirit this afternoon. When you do that, you yourself, you will be free. Not just free, you will be free indeed. Peter said to his audience in Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. When you repent and you give your heart to Jesus. Now the wakuma ma Yeshua. Times of refreshing. A brayer prom prom yano will come from the Lord. A be free a raden chain. When we are talking about the Lord, we are talking about the owner of Ghana. Now ye can radia ye can ye Ghana ni na ya ne dia. I'm talking about the creator of the world. Me can your boy soro ba sa ase ni muni. I'm not talking about the president of Ghana. Yet I o o o o mai nu peni wa sa na me. I'm talking about the Lord. 
And he knows what to do to you. And how to do it. The only thing he is requiring of you this afternoon. Is to repent. And turn to the Lord. Now verse 20 says this. And that he. That is Jesus. Or that is God. May send the Messiah, the deliverer, the savior, who has been appointed for you. Jesus has been appointed for you. He is your savior. He is your deliverer. He is your redeemer. He is your rescue. All he's requiring of you this afternoon is to repent from a bitter spirit. I want all of us to please bow down your heads. What is the condition of your heart? What is your heart telling you to do? If anyone is here who has this tendency of bitterness, he sees himself. No, from the description, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm carrying some bitterness. I want to give it up. Wherever you are sitting with all eyes closed, lift up your hands. Wherever you are, lift up your hands. When you do that, he says he will send the Messiah. Who is appointed for you. If you have some bitterness within you. If you have a mindset that you have made up your mind, I'm going back there to revenge. Just lift up your one hand. I will not ask you to come forward, but I want you to stand on your feet. Don't say anything. You want to take the spirit of bitterness within you. It's very true that somebody might have hurt you. But say we feel our come But when you take it out from your heart, deliverance will be your portion. It won't be the president, but it will be the Almighty Lord. But ye, men can say me kwa, me nyakwa ya, there be, the Herodia ye no, men ye be, if you are coming to work, you know, on a pump. As you are on your feet, just come out and say, Father, I have left every bitterness behind. I don't want to harbor any spirit of bitterness in me. I'm not going there to take any revenge on anybody. Whatever has happened to me, anything that somebody has caused me that has hurt me a lot, I have forgiven the person. I have left everything for your eyes. Continue pray such a prayer that we are praying now. As you are ready to leave all bitterness behind. It is through that process that God can deliver you and you can achieve your salvation. Continue praying. To some of us, for you to leave everything behind is something very, very hard thing for you to do. Because even your coming here might be somebody falsely accused you. You were able to try to defend yourself. You spoke out, but people were not there to hear you. And that has caused you bitterness. But today, 
Jesus is here to help. Say we jam wa enye nyame den se. Wonam sai jai a wajam no be you a fear. If you leave everything behind, it will make God to make a way of escape for you here. I feel me bomb pie. I'm praying. Father in heaven will bless you. Jesus. Nyame a wo wosro ye dawase. Yes Lord. Ye dawase bebre wonne wa me hu se do nipa ete. Amen. Wa me hu se. Enye wonam ye kata ye hu. Eno na kire se ne ye ye te ankasa. Ne mum se ne ya koma mu ade ye te no. Ewrade eno na kire se ne ye te. We yesu dem ewrade ye dase. Jesus, you need to do a hard work. Many people could do a sorry job. Now, and all bumpire stress, a ready warm up. Now, you would dear who are with you, you are coming more. And Shimpa, you would dear into Ophia Cra, one of your best and Yamba. It's answered near a woman more person way and one year, you know. One shot if you are a best and Yamba. Now, so and that a ready will be a woman, Jesus. And I also know what Jesus did. He said, "Nyami, I will do yow." Yes, Lord. Nyami, I will do yow. Yes, Lord. Nyami, I will tell you, I will do it. Jesus. And I will do it. Who am I? Amen. Jesus, Moja, I will do my yin. I will do it. 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 Jesus. And I will do it. I will do it. Amen. Ya bompaye wo Yesu dim. Amen. Ya bompaye wo Yesu dim. Amen. Yesu moja emma wura wo mu. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus fall on your heart in Jesus name and begin to cleanse you. Yes Lord. Yesu moja mongura wa dinim. Jesus. E mongura wa kuma mu. Amen. E mongura wo susu ye mu. Amen. Na fa oje mra. Oh Jesus. E wo Yesu Christo dim. Amen. E wo Yesu Oh yes, Lord. The Father that there shall be liberty. Oh Jesus, receive in Jesus. Name. Yes, Lord. Receive in Jesus. Name. Yes, Lord. Receive in Jesus. Name. Yes, Lord. Nyame fa ochie ani fa hudi ma. Amen. Na ama wa kuma ani adini a emuate. Jesus. Na emu dawa. Jesus. Afi ebe din adini papa. Ebe se samu aye ni papa papa. Say the nipa bani wa kumem no sa na nipa papa so so e ye fra kumem yes lord na se nyame pepa wi a oh jesus o fra se se o de nipa papa egu ya kumem e rade yesre wa yesu dem se yes and na se se ya se se ya e wa yesu christo jesus e wa yesu christo de oh yesu de na ma e rade e bi mpa na obi so te ho a we rade when ni akukudu an sori e rade shia no jesus Wa yesu di mu shia no. Amen. Ma ye nina ye nfi ha se. Oh yes. E ni pa wode o chie. E ni fa hudie a ma ye. Na ye kose nko di wente fo. Oh yes. Ye nko se ni pa bon sam le chire ye kwa ye bi. Ya bi da. Ni mo mi ye kose ni pa ye ye wode ya. Oh Jesus. E wo yesu di mu. Amen. Brother, ni yenyang kupong, wona yadi asida mau. Ni awe yenyina ye, unyuma efe. Ishira se wamasa kwenye abedaho. Ne brethi se i unkrofo, bonia oda suriano, eni mpenifu akanu yeshia se irade yebe kati sod. Edi amasa jumedi. Ere weni onyama kwai, beka yahu na ma yenyi ni wunkunimdi. Yesu dinti. Amen. Project basically consists of a dormitory block or blocks, dormitory two blocks that will be able to take 300 inmates. Hallelujah. I think the Lord has said our prayer for the past 10 years. Then we have a training workshop for the inmates. That's for the 300 inmates. An administration block, a chapel, and also a recreational facility, a volleyball court for the inmates to also uh, at least do some exercise 
as a recreational activity. Then we have washrooms and other related facilities like kitchen and the pantry and other things. So that is basically what the Church of Pentecost intends to do here beginning 30th of this month of July. It's expected that by the next six months, God willing, we'll be able to finish the project. We are preparing ourselves to uh, put up this uh, prison, a place where we'll be able to host some inmates here, and at least decongest the place, so that they'll be able to be productive and help the Ghana prison. This is the intention of the Church of Pentecost. And we are praying that our good Lord will grant us space, will hear this as our prayer, and grant us the needed resources to be able to get this uh, construction completed in the next six months. We want to cut the sword for the commencement of this prison project in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What is that we have determined in our heart? Just as he helped Solomon to accomplish what was in his heart, may he grant us the grace. And this shall not just be something that we are doing for doing sake. He should speak to Ghana. He should bring many to the kingdom. He should change the perspective of many people. He should refocus the churches in our country so that by this, even Ghana prison service will be fully blessed and delivered. Yeah. In a better land where love and joy are bound. I read, out of four, you're not sure four. But you didn't say what you're not sure 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 what what ye no? I wash any dean. A dain and I owe more. A dain now waffa. If I said me fasa quenya is so. Na me jo ta ta. Na me ma what ye say, a hea say, would to animal. Animal to obey. And it's over for years to Christ or so ran away with Jim Quan. Na wa brabo won't quenchy. Ebe kure radin sim. Mpa chao. Se ope se Yesu Christo. Eye uura ene waje un kwa. Kansan semi. Edi mechi. Kase ene de in. Me jidi se Jesus Christ. Ye o nyanko pon ba. Me boni. Ne me mra tu onti na obabe wii. Edi che me un kwa. Eni nti. Me fano. Semura, ene maje unkwa. Menene benante, mi unkwa nde nina, inti erade buwame. Samri, sa wakan sa jidin semia, edu wako daa unkwa nji imwa. Afei, shushe, bebi biara e jidifu o eshia, anase pentiko sa safu biara e ben wo, na fa wunko don wo, ko yi unwe di, na wabe buwa wo, ama watine mu, Ajin te tiye ni nyame sema ebe yen wo kra ni wo ni pedria ede wo ako riye heaven. Yehua en shira. Da sene ebe sen shia di. Shalom. Karis. Bye bye. Chosen Jack.
Speaking to the nations The message of the cross Christ died to save us all We are taking to the nations The message of the cross Christ died to save us all He in Him is life For all the world He in Him is light For all mankind We are taking to the nations The message of the cross Christ died to save us all life for all the world in him is light for all mankind we are taken to the nations the message of the cross Christ died to save us all he shall be the Lord and Savior in the better land where love and joy abound he shall be the Lord and Savior in the 